Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. I'm playing without my microphone, nope, without my camera on because I have a thing on my face that I don't want visible. Oh boy. We're doing this, huh? Going full on Mega Man. Amber Idol. What does that do? It's none of these. Strange. Uh, yes, I have a thing on my face that I don't want visible while recording, so I'm just leaving it off for now. Uh -huh. Right, I came in here this way. Well, then maybe it would be good to try and... Oh god. Come on, I did it. I nailed it last time. Okay. What are you? What happened? I touched the thing. I just died, I guess. Pardon my audio. All right. Hopefully that's okay. Right, this is where that mimic was. What? Oh God, we're doing this, aren't we? One moment, everyone. Sorry, I didn't have my headphones on. What is happening? Alright, cool. Technical difficulties, I guess. There we go. And more files of undersight. Without even reading, I must imagine that those are the ability to see things that I can't normally see. Inch those down. Ability to see what that which lurks in a dimension too ethereal to be perceived by mortal vision. Yippee skippy. Oh god. I mean, I could just skip this area as well. I don't even need to be here. So how's everyone going? Betty White died a couple days ago. That, uh, real low blow 2021. That is sneak one in. Of course, for me, that news is about as fresh as it comes. It just happened. I mean, it might have happened a bit ago, but the news just came out. All those memes about how Betty White's immortal are really, really, really uncomfortable now. Gotta say, I think, uh, I think God took the wrong son. If I was living in a world where the Queen of England was dead and Betty White was alive, I'd be like, fair trade, that's good. Sorry, just thinking. Gotta stop doing that. Um, again, playing Salt and Sanctuary with my new controllers, I programmed it to have bisexual lighting, which I think is pretty cool of me. Um, I picked up the package that this came in with my, well, strictly speaking, my wife, but that's a whole different story. Uh, though I didn't know what was in the package, she had to go and wrap it, like, you know, without me, because it was my Christmas present.
uh, and it was like for whatever reason they jammed it into our mailbox and like thinking about how big an Xbox controller is like back in the day I remember seeing memes about like how I guess not memes just like well not memes in the modern sense when most people say internet meme, they think of like an image macro or something like that. Uh, but yeah, essentially internet memes about like how huge the Xbox controller was. But the Xbox was the first real like controller that I had. Just had to poison me, huh? So yeah, for me, the Xbox controller was like normal. Until I got a PS3 and, like, the controller's super tiny. I've always been a really huge guy as well, so, like, it's not weird to me how big the controller is. It's like, yes, this is a perfectly normal-sized controller for a huge man like myself. Ah. Funny. Don't like it in here, lads. What is this? This is a shortcut I've presumably unlocked in the past, but to where? Bandit's Pass. Oh, and that was where I've seen that guy as well. jackass but yeah so me and my wife had this whole thing of just like wrestling to get this giant controller out of the mailbox and like I don't know how somebody does that you know I don't know how somebody gets a, a package like that into a mailbox all the way in without thinking man this is kind of difficult and without wondering how like how somebody is supposed to get it out you know like, I know, strictly speaking, I'm not a paying customer of... I know I'm not a paying customer of the United States Postal Service. But it's paid for by my taxes. And I pay taxes. I paid taxes for, like, three or four years. Wow. The damage is big. Should have healed. Tortor has stolen four, nope, five oh, forty two salt. So I think that was this way. I'm glad I put this uh, invisible seeing thing potion on my bar and then didn't use it. Come on over. Oh god, not again. Hey, that's a big ass door. I missed that the first time on my way here. That's a boss. That has to be a boss. I was wrong the last time about the boss, but that has to be a boss. Come on, look at it. Where are you going? Alright, cool. I'm going to backtrack and get a uh, poil. So if that's a boss and I'm right, then damn. Love getting ledge grab after love grab. Love that for me. I'm not complaining about my controller, by the way. This is just a hilarious anecdote. I hope, at least. Um... 
but I've been wearing a ring recently, and it's a. Uh, for whatever reason, it's been like wearing. I think it's been wearing at the silver of it. I don't fully know that. I don't understand exactly how silver tarnishing works, but. Oh, maybe. See you later. Really? Okay, not a boss. Weird. I was sure it was going to be a boss. That's why I went back. What are you? He's like casting summon swords on me. Hangman's rope. This is an eerie area. Hmm. Yeah, this is real creepy. I don't even know what to say in regards to this. This is a. Uh this is straight fucked. What? What happened? <gasps> oh my god. They switched places with me. That's a ri I I thought that that was like swords. Like he was casting summon swords on me like a Virgil. But in actuality, he's swapping places with me. Oh god. Yeah, okay. Uh, I should throw down a merchant here. I got one of these. Here we go. All right. Play a little smarter now. Actually, let me see if I can. I don't really have anything to justify getting Uh I don't really have like I could just do it just to burn the money, but I don't have a bow. I don't even know if I can use a bow. Guys, come on. That's a really interesting attack. They use their flight to get themselves up high, and then they, like, teleswap with you. And, like, drop you. So I wonder, is the attack supposed to be that they're dropping you into their noose? Is the attack supposed to be that they're dropping you into their noose, or is it just that they're dropping you in general? Oh, there's... Huh. Tachi. That's a kind of katana. 
Gotta fucking peek around corners like nothing now. Actually, wait. Fuck. <laughs> that was really stupid. I feel like this is gonna be a shortcut. Because that was so long that that can't not be a shortcut. And that, like, middle shaft. Bingo bango. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That middle shaft is so huge that there's no way that that can't have more stuff linked back to it. Like, there's got to be a... Like, an elevator in there or something. Right, those must be the uh, Ashen Estes flask for this game. I don't want to hear it, crows. Oh, cool. Be it. Oh, what was that? I thought I saw something up there. It's just the shadows. How unfortunate. See, this is too huge for there not to be something. Much better. Right, hi. Not again. He's got scared. That was stupid. And the fact that there's a shortcut at the bottom of that shaft on the right side means that of course there has to be another one. Oh hey, I've got more goodies. Take my salt, please. Or my my gold monies. So this probably isn't the like method to announce this. But the woman that I've been calling my wife is strictly speaking technically my partner. Oh, that was so cool. You know, and not my wife. So, um... Tachi. Deck scaling is B. It doesn't even list strength scaling. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, but yeah, strictly speaking, she's my partner. Until recently, it was just Christmas. And, uh, you know, again, not the place. This is a weird place to announce this, but she proposed. And I'm very happy about that. I got a nice ring and everything. But this is that ring that I mentioned that I've been wearing. Whoops. Hey guys, come on. Anyway, yeah. So for whatever reason, uh, Bands of Tarnish appeared on that ring while I was wearing... While I was playing with this new controller. And I don't understand why. I guess it's got like a pattern on the other side that maybe acts like sandpaper. Or something abrasive and wears away at it. But that doesn't make much sense to me. B. 
Yeah, it actually cleaned off pretty easily as well. Ha! Just gotta get the high ground. Oh, a door. Just a normal ass door I can open? No. Ah. I understand. Soldiers, three soldiers' poems. Is, is this somewhere I should recognize? I feel like that's one of the areas down in the village of Smiles, was it called? Sorry, I was afraid of that guy. I'm not used to uh, the most recent Metroidvania that I played is Hollow Knight, which has crash damage. You can collide with enemies and it'll hurt you. Ah, I see. And this is that big shaft as well. Uh, I'm going to climb back up. Hey, back in. This is just another thing that I really like. Yes, so close now. But uh, I usually leave my controller off. Um, I've been trying to do that more, just like leaving things off whenever I'm not using them. With some things, I'm like, it's it'll probably be fine. Like if I were to leave my microphone on, that probably wouldn't be too big of a deal. But if something has like a light or a camera, I leave it off. Like I don't leave my uh, my ring light just on. I leave it plugged in, but it hasn't off. But I can't turn the controller's lights off. Uh, oh god! Son of a gun! I just I didn't hit the buttons in the correct order, and I rolled instead of. Yeah. Uh, anyway. That was embarrassing. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, I have a I have a thing that connects all my USB stuff. Uh, and currently plugged into it is my controller, my microphone, my camera, and my ring light. And that takes up four of the six slots that I have access to. Strictly speaking, I'm supposed to only have... Uh, three slots, because that was just what this PC was made with. Hey, it's you guys again. Oh god, my stamina. I've spent it all. But as I mentioned, I have that USB bank that I just plug more shit into. It's useful. I don't know why my laptop doesn't have just like more USB uplinks. I guess it'll be a thing to do if I ever build a computer. Which is something I have been looking into. It'd be something of a splurge because my laptop does work well, but I digress. Um... The point is, is that my USB power bank, not power bank, my USB bank just has a bunch of little buttons on the side. Nice. Stone blacksmith and a bag of salt. And the fang and a bag of salt. Neato. Probably going to like have to cash those in at the end of the game, you know? That's what happens. They just sit in your inventory until you hit a wall or you hit the very end. Anyway, the point is, when I hit the little button and I turn on my uh, controller, it turns on, like, one light at a time. And in this thing, there are technically, like, three lights in the top, middle, and bottom. And that's how you can code it specifically with... Alright. Loud and clear. That's how you can code it with, you know, different types of lights. 
and how I got the uh, the buy pride flag because there's three on there naturally. Good thing I'm not demisexual. Well, I guess I probably am and don't know, but bad example. It's a pride flag with four colors. I can't think of any. It's the aromantic one. Oh, the asexual one is, isn't it? Isn't it? Because it's gray, white, blue. No, there's no blue. It's purple, isn't it? Yeah, it's gray, white, purple, and black. God, eat. Clay Phantom's ashes. And they steal set. Interesting. Let's take a look, huh? Rugged plate armor shrouded in a smart leather vest. It looks good. Ah. Ruined it. I don't like open face helmets. I mean, I guess I could wear one. But like, I, I just dramatically prefer having anything else on, you know? I think I might have been wearing this, yeah. All right. Cool. Hmm. What? How are you going to get hurt on something going up? Just move your head out of the way, dog. I know it's probably a damage thing with how they code it, but... It's lame as fuck. Cool. Alright, I feel like I'm getting close to a boss. Little, little Mertos. I'm also getting more opportunities to use this little little jumpy jump that I've got. They're giving me like Yep, it's you. Actually, I'm hoping that instead I'll get a shortcut instead of a boss. It would be okay to have a boss, but... Another one of you. Hmm. Okay. That was so cool. That was so cool of me. Hey, I got my stone merchant back. Perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, is that a shortcut elevator I see? That's good because I'm getting pretty beat up. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So I wonder if you can find some way to mitigate that fall damage. Yeah. 
if you can find some way to mitigate that fall damage, maybe you can just completely noid your... Like, how do I put this? Oh, they have creepy smiles. I just noticed that. Sorry, I've been primarily looking at their arms and uh, their torsos in order to try and like predict their movements and attacks. So I haven't been looking at their faces. Their faces are creepy. Proper creeped. Okay, so I don't exactly know how to get back to that. I've met you, right? I think I'm going the wrong way. Got to say I hate his uh his like little cadence that he that he rhymes in. It's a little annoying. Damn, two levels. I guess you literally just have to look at the size of the of the bag. I know I talked about the nature of cashing in, but I'm cashing in. I'm just going to go kill stuff. Okay. Another one and I should be good. Hey, how do I get to you? Hey, yeah, there's a whole area up here that I haven't gone into. Maybe not a big area. God, the smiles are creepy. Okay, and then this is the shortcut, Castle of Storms, that leads through here. And then I think back up this way leads to that one area. No, this is a dead end. Oh, duh. Simple. Simpler now than I thought. All right, what do I have in my pockets? I can get this poultice pouch. Hmm, what do I even want? Endurance, dex, dex. Okay, I'll start pushing it this way then. And then I'll go up this tree and I'll grab these. And then I can maybe grab willpower and strength. It'd be kind of nice if you could do more stuff from the uh, merchant, you know? Or not from the merchant. Um, like, I get it's probably more atmospheric. But, like, I kind of wish that I could just get more stuff from the sanctuary, I guess, from the, the idol I kneel at. All right. So this is the area with the sword guys and the curse guys. This is the deep part of the red, red hall of cages, it's called. 
Did I see that area up there? I hope I did. Oh, and this is... Oh, it's not a dead end. Oh, God. That was stupid. You can probably understand where I was coming from. I was trying to drop through that other thing. What are the what? What? Tree of men. Ah, fun. Where do I hit you? It's like a giant mecha. It's got legs and everything. I must swing at the men. Of course. Or the ones that have little light thingies. Oh, God. Well, that's just not fair, I think. I'm not getting a lot of salt that I don't feel like I care about um, the losses. Although I might actually be able to get that back. That, um, that much salt? That isn't too bad. All right. I've got nine rolls, so let's make sure that I can use them. One thing about putting points into, you know, a healing, healing juice. Bye. One thing about putting like points in anything is that you have to be sure to, that you're using your points. Cause like, obviously I know that the second a Souls game come out, some rat fuck meathead is going to start trying to, you know, beat the final boss naked with no armor. Uh, bare-fisted with no weapon, just punching them to death at level one with nothing. I know that somebody's going to do it, you know? It's, at this point, a given. Because once someone could do uh, soul level one Dark Souls, then, like, everyone, no one cared about it, you know? There had to be a new hardest thing. And, like, soul level one Dark Souls is not actually that hard, and neither is soul level one Demon Souls. It's hard, sure, but, like, it's not crazy impossible because Soul Level 1 in both of those games is a really good class to start as. In Demon Souls, you start as the Royal, uh, which gives you, like, a better magic casting potential than... Oh. Yeah, you get a better magic casting potential as the royal than you do as, like, the actual mage, I think. And that's possibly up to interpretation and discussion, but that's how I kind of feel about it. Beta Flame Orbiters. I don't need their drops. I can just kill another one if I want their drops. Oh, man. We both had our swords pointed at each other. It was so rad. But yeah, I saw this boss and I was like, I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. Oh, is that my souls down there? It is. Not again. Oh, I got it, though. Well, that's good, at least. Much less of a walk. That's good. Later. Yeah, when I saw this thing, I didn't even know what the hell I was looking at. Like, yeah, it, it is a giant, like, wooden mecha made of many men. Dude, not again. How can... You can't... You can't do that. This is bad boss design, guys. Like, this is why people hate the bed of chaos. Anyway, my point was, Dark Souls and on, on level nothing is not that hard. And, like, of course anyone can do a hard thing in a video game but like i don't know that uh you know it's in me to be able to do that so i need to be able to put my points in the correct place 
I'll take one more try. I need to be able to put my points in the correct place so I can use those things. <sighs> God. Anyway, I need to be able to put my points in the correct spot so I can take advantage of those things that I've put my points into. And, and you know, fight and win and succeed. So maybe I'm going about this in the wrong way because I'm... Go, go. Like, this is why people hate the Bed of Chaos, because it's an annoying boss that has a whole bunch of, like, damage and can knock you into a little pit that's right next to it. Like, I don't know, is that bad boss design? Maybe it is. Ugh. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Thank you for coming for this uh, special webcomic, nope, webcamless episode. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.